Let's test your memory. Five years ago, what five were you doing, today, Cheryl? It's, today was a good day five years ago, kind of a scary day. I was starting to climb Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa and Tanzania. It's the highest mountain in Africa. 50 women from around the world and me, we started wow. climbing it on behalf of sexually trafficked women and kids. And it was just so scary because I remember looking, you could see the mountain far away and you knew it was five and a half, six days. And you're, and you're thinking, saying, oh my, I'm going to go up there. What did I sign up for? And can I do it? And especially because I talked about it on TV and I raised money around it and everything else. And you're just thinking, I really hope I can do this. <laughs> and you had no choice. You had to keep going. You weren't going to back out. I, you know, I got sick along the way. And honestly, I, I was the media team. Like we had to shoot the summit. I had to make it. I was like, you can't be sick if you're dragging yourself up there with one arm, you are going to make it to the summit. What whatever. was your best memory, best memory from that trip? You know, honestly, and, the, and this is kind of funny, I was coming down, uh, I was on my way up to the summit, the very last like half an hour. So it was hard. I couldn't breathe. There was no air up there. My heart was pounding out of my chest. I thought, am I going to have a heart attack? Like, I don't know. If, you don't know at what point this becomes physically dangerous or you just need to persist. And I see this guy coming back toward me, crawling on the ground with no arms and no legs, and he had just summited before me. And I okay, just, back up. No arms and no legs. No arms and no legs. He had um, like some things to protect his um, limbs. Like he had up to the elbow, and he was crawling. He'd literally crawled wow. up the entire mountain, and he had just summited. He was uh, summiting on behalf of, of military men who suffered PSTD or had come back and had struggled. And I looked at him, and I just thought, okay, there's no excuses. Like wow. you are summiting today, no matter what, because if that guy can do it, you can do it, right? And he was amazing. That just had to be inspiration. So inspiring. I just couldn't even believe my eyes. I just, like, the, the will of some people.